Okay, today I will explain Zener diode as voltage regulator. So this is a symbol of Zener diode. This is a current limiting resistor. This is load resistor, and this is the variable input DC supply. So the aim is if there is a variation in the supply voltage, the load should get constant regulated voltage. So V naught will be equal to V Z. That is the breakdown voltage of Zener diode. Yeah, v naught is equal to V Z because they are connected in parallel. So we need now one Zener diode, two resistors, and one power supply. So let us open a multi sim. So you have to place one Zener diode. Go to place component. Once you open the tool, there is a place component. Go to uh, master database. And you select all the groups so that you, you can search that component. You can type just type Zener here. So you will get Zener here. So Zener you place. Next uh, we want uh, resistor. So resistors are available in the basic group, or you can search also. In the basic groups, resistor is there. You place resistor here and one more resistor I want so once again you click OK so by default 1 kilo ohm is selecting so if you want to change you can later you can change it now I want to place it in a vertical so select that component press ctrl R if you press ctrl R it will rotate you press ctrl button and R button so next uh, I want one power supply, again go to place component, it is available in the uh, group of sources, in the source power source, there is a ground button is there, AC power is there, DC power is there, AC is the symbol of AC, sinusoidal, DC power, uh, big line and small line. So select this, this is power supply and next one ground, so this is a ground symbol. So we selected all, so now close this, now the remaining connections are go to edge of the com, uh, this supply, we will get marker, you can connect it. So here you cannot start, okay, once you connect, uh, you cannot start from here. So while connecting you should be careful. So here you can connect to here or you can connect to here later you can so I'll collect here next from here to here. So this is a five volts zeno diode. Uh, supply voltage is this is one kilo ohm load resistor. So you can, if you want to change the load resistance value, double click on that and go to label. Okay, here you can write load. And this is current limiting resistor. You can rename it as RS. So there is a rule you have to use minimum value of and maximum value of uh, RS. Okay. So value I will keep this one as around 150 ohms or 200 ohms. So supply voltage this is 5 volts regulated. So in minimum input uh, you have to give is more than 5 volts. Okay. That is at least 2 volts greater than this 5 volts. So this should be 7 volts to 20 volts if you vary this, uh, your output should be always equal to constant regulator voltage which is 5 volts because the inner diode breakdown voltage is 5 volts. So same thing if you want to modify the 5 volts you can change this breakdown voltage to 7 volts or 9 volts or 11 or 12 volts like that you can change. And according to that input also you have to give minimum 2 volts greater than that to some range. And if you vary the supply voltage, constant regulated voltage should come here. So here I can 
place a probe here you can see this probe no voltage value i'm placing here if you want to see current also you can place current probes also since we are doing voltage regulation uh, we have to check only v naught cross rl for variation in the supply voltage now uh, for this uh, i should not do interactive we should do different types of analysis go to simulate analysis you have to go to dc sweep this is the dc sweep here output is actually uh, voltage across load okay voltage across load is actually we we connected one probe now we connected one probe that's why it is showing uh, automatically it is taken voltage of pr1 automatically it has taken otherwise you have to select uh, if you don't put the probe here it will also give here i of r load no v of r load like that it will also give v of r load that v of r load you have to add here okay so since you connected probe automatically probe values are taken here if you don't have probe in the in the year you are going to get like i of r load p of r load v of r load also will be there that you have to add here okay next uh, parameter how to vary this is sweep this is sweep i told no uh, this value of the voltage source is v1 which is supply voltage vs and uh, starting value of the supply voltage i told minimum 2 volts should be greater than that so you can give 7 volts and the end stop value um, you can give some 20 volts or you can give 30 volts and increment is 0.5 that means first time the supply voltage will be 7 volts and it will get the output not the output value again if the supply voltage variation by 5.5 now next value is 7.5 note down the output voltage next 8 volts not down the output voltage next 8.5 not down the output voltage next 9 or 9.5 10 10 10.5 like that increment size is 0.5 so now if i give simulation output variable is what voltage across load which is v voltage across probe one probe is connected to uh, load resistance terminal so i am running this you are getting like this you should get five volts one minute should get actually it is varying from uh, see here it is actually uh, scale is um, 4.97 4.98 4.95 volts small variation is there okay up to 5.05 it is varying otherwise uh, if you change this change this one to range minimum value if you give some 3 volts okay to 8 volts i think uh, you'll get almost see horizontal line only you'll get so you're going to get here the supply voltage uh, this is the output characteristic uh, sorry zeno diode output voltage variation for the supply variation of from this is here approximately the supply voltage is 7 volts 7 volts to 30 volts what is the voltage you are going to get 5 volts only so horizontally so if there is a variation in the supply voltage output is constant so what happens if i change the supply voltage from 0 to uh, 0 to 30 volts okay for that you have to go for dc sweep here only you can click the variation is from uh, instead of 7 you give some 3 volts now you can observe little bit uh, increasing point will be there see like this because input voltage is 3 volts zener breakdown is 5 volts so in this range 
in this range breakdown is not occurred z naught breakdown is not occurred that's why output is not coming 5 volts only when the input crosses that uh, voltage value which is greater than breakdown voltage you are going to get constant regulated voltage so this is how you can this one you can change the label as double click and you can change the label this is a voltage regulation or line regulation okay this is supply voltage uh, we are varying now so this is a line regulation Rain regulation means for the variation in the line voltage or supply voltage okay uh, you are going to get constant voltage across load so this is zener diode as voltage regulator similarly we can also do load regulation also where you have to keep uh, supply voltage constant and you have to vary this load resistance okay that i will teach you in the next uh, video thank you